Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Cloud. So nowadays, uh, sending and receiving mails are quite common in our daily life. And related to this, in today's video, we are going to discuss about SMTP. SMTP is a simple mail transfer protocol. The SMTP is an, a standard communication protocol for electronic mail transmission. Mail servers and other message transfer agents use SMTP to send and receive mail messages. It support end-to-end -end and store and forward method. Then it is an application layer protocol and box over TCP port number 25. Moving on, we have SMTP protocol model. It has two method, which is end-to-end -end method and a store and forward method. The end-to-end -end mod method model is used to communicate between different organization. But the store and forward method is used within an organization. So that is the difference between end-to-end -end method and store and forward method. Then we have the component of SMTP, which is mail user agent, then mail submission agent, then mail transfer agent and mail delivery agent. So at first mail user agent, mail user agent, it is used uh, as a computer application that help you to sending and receiving mail. It is responsible for creating email message for transfer to the mail transfer agent MTA. Then we have the mail submission agent. It is a computer program that basically receive mail from a mail user agent and interacts with the mail transfer agent for the transfer of email. Then we have mail transfer agent. It is basically software that has the work to transfer mail from one system to another with the help of SMTP. Another component we have mail delivery agent MDA. A mail delivery agent or local delivery agent is basically a system that helps in the delivery of mail to the local system. Okay, so moving on following to that we have some SMTP commands also like HELO -E hello. So hello commands identify the client to the server, which is fully qualified domain name. And it also sent one per session. Then we have mail, mail command initiate a message transfer and the, for the fully qualified domain from the originator. Then we have RCPT. So RCPT follows mail, identifies and addressee. So typically the fully qualified domain name of the addressee here and for multiple addressee use one RCPT for each addressee. Then we have the data command. So this data command is used to send data line by line. So moving on, let's now look into the model or the working architecture of SMTP. So we can see on the screen whenever the client who want to send the mail opens a TCP connection and as soon as we click on the send button, our email agent like Gmail, Outlook called as MTA client. So MTA means message transfer agent. From the MTA client, the email sent to MTA server and then sends the mail across the connections. The M SMTP server is always on listening mode. And as soon as it listen for a TCP connection from any client, the SMTP process initiates a connection throughout port number 25. After successfully establishing a TCP connection, the client process sends the mail instantly. Same thing here we have a Wireshark capture of SMTP and we can see that sender receiver of the email along with that down below we can see internet message format it shows sender and receiver and the subject of email also it shows if we look deeper into that we can see it has the message body in which we can see what is written in the email so if you have the wireshark capture this way you can identify what is inside a smtp packet moving on we have some advantage and disadvantage in smtp so the advantage of SMTP is like if necessary, the user can have a dedicated server. It allow for bulk mailing. It also a low cost and wide coverage area. 
it offers choices for email tracking and it is reliable and promote email delivery also the disadvantage of smtps are like smtps common port can be blocked by several firewall maybe by mistake or for the purpose then the smtp security is a bigger problem also its simplicity restrict how useful it can be and just 7 bit scsi character can be used in smtp if a message is longer than the certain length then smtp server may reject the entire message so this this is all the in disadvantage of smtp and this is all about the fundamental of smtp protocol today hope this video provide good information to you if you found this video helpful please do like share comment your query or suggestion subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you for the watching see you in the next video